Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to the YouTube channel of JJ Prime Reviews. So today we'll be taking a look at the Transformers War for Cybertron Netflix Deluxe Class <gasps> Early Tower. Finally, I got this figure. Man, it took me a long time. But anyway, so let's get down to the review table and see what the deal is for this figure. So let's get it on, man. Let's go. But of course, before we take a look at the figure, we we <laughs> and my tongue has malfunctioned again. Anyway, but anyway, so yeah, let's take a look at the packaging right here. So we have Transformers Super Cybertron trilogy logo right here. Autobot Elite One you got a nice big Autobot logo in the back. You have Elite One uh, and the, uh, the silhouette of Elite One right in the back as well. And you got Elite One right here. She's an Autobot. And got the Autobot symbol right here. Netflix, a Netflix original series. You got Generations Transformers logo. We got the Earthrise logo right here. And all red, white, and red. And uh, wait, wait. Black, white, and red. Not red, white, and red. Black, white, and red. <laughs> so, and then here is the obligatory product. Uh, it's got no bio for this figure, unfortunately. But hey, um, like, uh, it says includes figure accessory and instructions, but that's not all. It's not all, you know. Yeah, but anyway, so yeah, that is pretty much it for the packaging itself. Now, included in the packaging, um, we don't get a card, but we get a piece of the arc, the Teletran One piece. Yay! So if you get all the Netflix figures, you can actually connect uh, several pieces to make like. A very very interesting backdrop for your um, for your uh, mm, 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 for your figures. So that's pretty cool. Um, unfortunately, I'm not even planning to get uh, get the rest of the Netflix figures because the Netflix figures are just repaints of figures that I already have. So um, yeah, <laughs> so um, yeah, but it's interesting that you get a piece of the uh, the map of the uh, the Teletran One base right here for the Autobots. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, I'm gonna just set this off to the side. And now we shall get down to the figure itself. And here is Alita One fully transformed into her Cybertronian looking vehicle mode. It looks pretty cool in my opinion. Um, uh, well, it's all done in red with some gray for the seats and some uh, nice blue tinted translucent plastic for the windows and the uh, and this thing right here. And of course some white paint on the front without, with the Autobot symbol right here. Would've been nice if she was uh, painted nicely. Um, it would've been nice if there was more paint on this figure, but oh well, it is what it is. And as you can see, she is indeed a recolor slight remold of the Earthrise Last Kingdom Deluxe Class RC. And uh, yeah, I think this mold definitely works for her, in my opinion. Definitely, definitely works for her. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Um, now, Truth be told, I got this figure uh, all the way from the United States. So uh, my buddy Trans Aaron 38. Yeah. So yeah, a quick shout out to my buddy Trans Aaron 38 because he um, he was the one who sent this figure all the way from the United States to to my location in Malaysia. And um, I'm truly grateful for you, uh, Trans Aaron 38. I I thank you for this wonderful gift. Because I have been wanting to get an Alito One, a proper Alito One figure um, from Hasbro, from the Transformers toy line, and I finally got her. And um, yeah, thank you, thank you, Transformer Thirty Eight, for um, sending me this figure. You, you rock, dude. You, you rock on so many levels. So people, if you want to check out Transformer Thirty Eight's channel, his link will be posted in the description down below. So do check him out because he's a really cool dude and. Um, yeah, he's a really cool uh, toy reviewer, and uh, he definitely needs a lot of subs. He definitely needs he definitely needs uh, a thousand subscribers. So uh, yeah, so do help him out. Do uh, do give him your love and support. So uh, yeah, pretty cool. But anyway, so yeah, so let's get in closer. We're so gonna take a look at the details right here, and uh, yeah, nice molding details all around. I will say, nice uh, nice rolling wheels, so she can definitely roll. But when you turn her upside down, you can see a lot of the robots, you know, the robot mode just basically folded up in there. <laughs> yeah, she's definitely a shell former, but I'm not, am I complaining? Oh, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining at all, but uh, 
But yeah, still a really fun figure, a still really cool figure in my opinion, so... Alright, anyway, she does come with a gun for herself. She comes with this right here, and it's, uh, it's like very, very nicely tinted uh, translucent gun right here, which is pretty cool. Uh, and there is a tab on the side right here, and there's a slot right in there, so you can actually plug this in right here for storage. But unfortunately, this doesn't really hold all that well, because if you turn her upside down, it's gonna fall. But, um, yeah. <laughs> So the best way to store this is with this section right here. So there is a, uh, a, a little slot right here for this uh, the handle of the gun to go into. And this just plugs in right there. And there we go. There you have the gun stored uh, in the vehicle mode. So now let us get down to some size comparisons. Here is Olito One compared with a fellow fembot uh, Chromia from Siege. With the Earthrise Deluxe Class Wheeljack. With the Netflix Forger class Soundwave, with the Earthrise Leader class Optimus Prime, with the Siege Forger class Optimus Prime, and as you can see, uh, the boyfriend and the girlfriend. Because <laughs> you know Optimus Prime and Alito One are, you know, yeah, they're boyfriend and girlfriend. But anyway, so yeah, they really good. They blah 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 blah. And this is my tongue malfunctions. They really look good together, I will say. They really look good together, in my opinion. So let's move on to the final size comparison for today. Speaking of which, here is Alito One compared with he with the original version of the mold, Earthrise Deluxe Class RC. And uh, I will say, um, I think Earthrise uh, Deluxe RC uh, wins in the the paint department because she does have uh, more paint than Alita One, but you know. I mean, I mean, Alita One does have some de decent amount of paint right here and there, but not so much. But um, and as you can see, the front section right here, it's totally uh, remolded right here. So there's some uh, difference in the molding, the vehicle mode as well. And uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. You know, it, it's not just a straight recolor. You know, they did uh, did some remolding uh, on the front right here, which is really cool, really nice, really really nice. So that is pretty much it for the ultimate comparisons. Okay, I think we are pretty much done with the vehicle mode itself, and now we shall transform Alita 1 into her robot mode, and uh, <laughs> Yeah, I know the transformation on this figure can make a lot of people upset, but it doesn't make me upset, you know? It's actually pretty easy to do. But anyway, so you wanna do, you wanna, uh, what you want to do now is you want to untab the legs right here. There, there is a tab to tab into a uh, the slot right in there, and just untab this, untab that, and there we go. And you want to take the thighs right here, just rotate them around just like so, straighten up the legs, flip up the foot, and there you have one leg all done. Same thing on the other side, just rotate at the thigh right here, and just flip up the foot. And there you have the legs pretty much all done and ready. And as you can see, and <laughs> she's wearing the whole car. Look at her. Look at her. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, isn't that hilarious? Isn't that, isn't that a thing to laugh at? But anyway, <laughs> so now you want to take her arms out like so. And there we go. So now you want to take this whole section right here. You want to fold this section right here and just fold this down just like that fold this in and fold that in and there we go and now just extend this and there you have that and now you want to take these sections right here just flip this in flip all this in just like so and just flip that in and just bring all this down and there are two tabs so tab into these slots right here and just Tab the backpack just like so, and there we go. And now we can take her head and rotate it 180. And I think we're done. Are we done? Yes, we're done. That's it. That's pretty much it. So there you have Alita One fully transformed into her robot mode. And she can't really stand straight. Really, really can't she? Can she stand straight? Uh, whatever, I don't care. But anyway, so there you have Alita wonderfully transformed into her robot mode. And honestly, in my honest opinion, 
I think the robot mode looks great. You know, there's a lot of paint work right here in the robot mode. A lot of white, you know, this color right here. Got some orange, got some reds. Got some of these uh, beigey color here. There's a more beigey color on her face. Got some nice uh, orange on the lips. Uh, blue for the eyes. Autobot symbol right here. So yeah, she does have a lot of paint uh, for her robot mode, which is a really good thing right here. Yeah, really nicely done. In my opinion, yeah, she does have a huge backpack, but you know, the backpacks, I, I don't care about the backpack, you know, I, I, I'm not gonna waste my time, you know, staring at the backpack, you know, for, for days, you know, <laughs> because I don't display my figure spacing like that, no, I, I don't do that, because I want my figure spacing the front, so that's what I do with my figure, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, but uh, but yeah, she definitely looks pretty good. I will say she looks pretty good. So let's get closer. Let's get take a look at the head sculpt. And unlike RC, Alita One actually has the painted lips, which is really nice. <laughs> yeah, really, really nicely done. Yeah, she does have a new chest, new shoulders, new uh, new crotch piece right here. And uh, yeah, really nicely done. I think they they remolded, you know, like quite a lot to uh, different shades. RC and Alita one from each other. So that's pretty cool. That is really nice. That's really nice. So uh, yeah. Now, unfortunately, this joint is kind of kind of tight. So yeah, it's kind of hard to make her stand straight. So uh, yeah, but yeah, all around nicely done figure in my opinion. Nicely painted, and nicely molded, and uh, yeah, looks pretty good. Looks pretty pretty good. So uh, now, articulation wise on this figure, uh, the head is on a ball joint. She can rotate a full 360, can, can't can really look up, can't really look down. Uh, the shoulders, they can only raise, she can only raise her arms like that. She can't do a full 360 because all this is uh, you know, in the way. Uh, the arms can move in and out. She does have a bicep swivel. She does have an elbow joint over 90 degrees of bend and the hands can actually move inward and outward and you know she can do like you know she can do <laughs> she can do that she can do that if she wants to uh she does have a waist wheel which is nice uh, the legs can move up that far can move back only that far and she does have a swivel at the hip she does have a swivel at the thigh she does have a double jointed knee which is really really nice uh, right here, so that's pretty cool. And she does have, uh, you know, foot. The foot can actually move up and down, and she does have some nice ankle tiltage right there. So she's pretty poseable all around. So that's really nice. That's pretty cool. So now she can definitely hold her weapon, which is pretty cool. Uh, let me give her her gun. Give her gun right here, and just put her, put it into her hand, and there you have. The gun being held in her hand so she can do what you know as Mgo always says pew pew bang bang pew pew bang bang she, she can do that as well so now another thing you can do with this figure is that you can actually uh, unclip the backpack like so unclip this section right here you can unclip this entire section and you can turn this into a hoverboard if you want to so just flip all this out so, flip this out, there we go, and just flip all this out like so, it doesn't really want to work with me here, there we go, just bring this out like so, I think this is supposed to uh, come all the way down like that, I think so, no, 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 it's supposed to go in like that, there we go, so now you have uh, two pegs right here, so you can actually stand Alita one, like on the uh, in the pegs, right here, like so, like that, and just put her other leg right here, and she is standing on the hoverboard, like that, and that is pretty cool. I will say I definitely like this gimmick, you know, of the uh, the backpack turning into a hoverboard. I think this is pretty cool. This is a really cool idea in my opinion. That's really nice. 
that's really that's a really awesome idea I will say that's that's definitely the playability of from this figure and I do quite like that and as you can see it makes her backpack look even cleaner like right now so that's pretty cool so uh, I'll, I'll just uh, do, uh, do this off camera and you know plug the backpack back uh, <laughs> plug the backpack on to the to her back again you know off camera so I'll be right back okay now that Alita one is ready to go and now let's get down to some size comparisons here is Alita one compared with her fellow fembot Chromia with the Earthrise Deluxe Class Wheeljack with the Netflix Voyager Class Soundwave with the Siege and Earthrise version of the Optimus let's try that again with the Siege version and the Earthrise version of her boyfriend Optimus Prime. So you can see how they look together and uh, I'm not so sure what Elite One's gonna choose. Either this one or this one. Hmm, I don't know. But anyway, let's move on to the last size comparison. And speaking of which, here is Elite One compared with the original version of the mold, Earthrise Deluxe Class. RC and uh, yeah they both have the huge backpacks but I don't care <laughs> um, um, and as you can see the chest is different the crotch is different the shoulders are different the heads are completely different and uh, other than that you know uh, everything else is the same but yeah they did remold uh, 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 you know quite a bit to uh, differentiate uh, uh, Elita 1 and RC from each other so that's pretty cool uh, yeah, really nice, really nicely done right here from Hasbro. So, uh, that is pretty much it for the robot mode comparisons. Okay, so here are my final thoughts on the Transformers or for Cybertron Netflix Deluxe Class Autobot Alito 1. And, uh, yeah, in my honest opinion, I really like this figure. I really enjoyed messing with this figure. Definitely fun to mess with. Love the articulation on this figure, love the paintwork on the robot mode. On the vehicle mode, the vehicle mode is um, pretty much okay, you know, it's decent. Um, would have been nice if there was extra paint on the vehicle mode, but it's okay, it looks, it looks pretty good in my opinion. Um, but uh, yeah, the, um, the parts that they remolded to make a little one out of this mold, I think they did a really good job with this, and uh, yeah, really nicely done. And I love the fact that you can actually uh, take out the whole entire backpack and make it to a hoverboard. That is the playability from this figure. The hoverboard is fun. That's a fun thing to do. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not truly disappointed with this figure, as um, because I'm not disappointed with the RC as well. Uh, RC was a really nice figure, and this Alito one is a really nice figure too. You know, it's a really well done figure in my opinion. So. Uh, yeah, really nicely done Hasbro, you did a great job with this figure. So, as far as ranking Alita 1 from a scale of 1 to 10, I think she gets a good 9 out of 10. Um, if she had a lot of paint for the vehicle mode, she would get a 10 out of 10, but hey, 9 out of 10, a really nicely done figure, it's, it's a good score. 9 out of 10 is a really, really good score right here, so... Okay, so uh, once again, a shout out to uh, TransAaron38 uh, for sending me this figure. You rock, dude. You rock, my friend. You rock on so many levels. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. But anyway, um, so yeah, again, his channel will be linked in the description down below right there. So yeah. I think that's pretty much it for today's video review. So ladies and gentlemen, if you're completely new to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. And while you're at it, click that notification bell icon down below as well, so that you will know when my new videos are up and ready. And you can always check out my Earthrise Reviews playlist for any videos you may have missed while posting to that playlist in the description down below. And uh... I think that's pretty much it for me to say. So they have the Transformers, War for Cybertron, Netflix, Deluxe Class, Elite One, and this is JJ Prime signing off. Peace out! Yay!